Hey you guys, welcome to today's Love Nest. These guys may look familiar because they're back. I love them so much, I'm like, I've loved all my guests. Shoot, I'm gonna hurt feelings. But you guys were awesome, I felt like we have we have good chem. You're, you're better, we can say that. Yeah, we're better, we're just better. Gold medal. Uh, so just in case couch. it slipped through the hole, will you guys introduce yourselves? So if anybody's wondering, they'll know who you guys are. I'm Chris Kruger from My Six Pack Life. And I am Rachel Sarnoff, also known as Mommy Greenest. All health and fitness, love and life. Love mm -hmm. you guys. Glad you're here. Guess what? We're doing again. The <sighs> love base. You want me to tip it this time? You didn't do it last time, did you? No, I didn't. Are you worried about the hole in your hands fitting? Yeah. <laughs> Don't get stuck. It's not <laughs> Carly. How do you spice up your love life? Oh. That does not say Carly, because I wrote that. Oh, it's like it's like a question for us. <laughs> yes, the general. Oh. How do you spice up your love life? Uh. Shoot, you have to have a love life, and then you can spice it mm. up. So, number one, get a love life. <laughs> yes. Number two, add spices. <laughs> like new things that you can try together, like new adventures. I like that. But. Okay, so I know this couple, and they have... I don't remember what it's called, but it like has a great name too. It's like the lock box or something. And it's oh. like between, you know, like on the side table of their bed. Oh. And this is gonna it's go took a left turn. And it's locked. <laughs> and like one person will call the other and be like, I put something in the lock box. And the rule is when you open the lock box, you have to use what's inside. And then the next That's... person, then it's like the other person's turn. So when my husband and I found out about that, we were like, that is such a great idea. And yet, we have not. <laughs> we have no lock. We have, have two yet chickens to lock the lock box. Not chicken, which is, you know, you got three kids. Like, just having sex is excitement enough. Yeah, right? It's scheduling. Does Thursday work for you? Can you do right. Thursday? Okay. Thursday? Right. What pencil you in? I got five minutes right before the kids go. <laughs> Bless your heart. So, what's in the, have they exposed what's in the lock box? Um, is that too much? This may be a little, no, no, no. I, I, the only thing I knew was that there was like an outfit. He put like an outfit in there, like a, Okay, like lingerie yeah, or. Yeah, and she had to wear it. So that's tame, right? Yeah, that's okay. that's pretty good, yeah. yeah. I feel like anybody could do that. That's kind of fun. Maybe if one partner is like afraid of like trying sushi or Thai or they don't love hiking in particular, but the other couple or person wants to try it, might as well, you know, you could put ideas or suggestions for dates so in the lockbox. sushi box. in the lockbox? Yeah, put some raw sushi. <laughs> if they don't eat it, it's rude. No, I'm just kidding. That would be awful. Can you imagine? That's gross. One time when I was pregnant, I had like pregnancy brain going on and I was, we had friends over and they had brought shrimp and I was like cleaning up after and we went, we left that night on some road trip and we came back three days later and we walked into the house and it smelled awful. Oh, like. No. Like, just like worse, shrimp. yeah. Like, we're like, what is that smell? Well, I went like digging through the kitchen. For some reason, I had wrapped the shrimp and put them in like a plastic container and put them on top of the fridge. <laughs> Never put them in the fridge. Oh, no. And just a whole apartment in the house was like, did you ever get pregnancy brain where your brain was just like yes, fried? Yes, but I never put shrimp on top of my, my fridge. And, I, and then left for three days. Every, and I will not put shrimp in my lock box. So any, <laughs> ever. Don't put shrimp in any box, okay? Let's we'll just put that out there. Okay, so th speaking of health and fitness and, you know, kind of along those lines, how do you guys feel like that has blessed your relationships in a really strong suit? Uh, stamina. <laughs> and we can also have another show about that. <laughs> Cardiovascular endurance. Oh, oh snap. Hey. And then also just being stronger, you can lift and move. <laughs> what Female's are we talking easier. about? Oh my god. Wow. This is going in a This really is the wrong direction. direction. I meant more of the emotional side, but I mean, we could touch oh, on yeah, the physical. Oh yeah, we're so grounded. And, like, <laughs> we get along so well, and there's we can go hiking, and it's all these adventures. Long walks on the beach. Yeah. Getting lost in the rain. No. Yeah. 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 <laughs> exactly. What about for you? I mean, you do a lot of like cooking, organic cooking and health, you mm -hmm. know, that benefit. What have you noticed in your relationship? That it's closer because of those things? Yeah, have you guys seen like an extreme blessing when you guys have ch chosen? I feel like as a couple, it's, it's hard to get lost in, you know, like, especially when you have kids, it's so hard. We're going on a road trip. Oh, we forgot to feed the kids. Okay, let's go through the drive through Or, you know, we don't have time. We get home late. We've had a busy day. It's eight o'clock. What do you do? Order a pizza or yeah. do you? Try okay. to make something healthy, well, I mean. I don't know if this is like a bonding thing, but it's certainly been like a peacemaking thing in my household this year. So my um, New Year's resolution was to menu plan, which sounds like this that's is awesome. so boring for you. No, <laughs> no, I know. No, but you have a part son, of my whole deal right? Is a menu plan. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. So for me, the, it was like, you know, get get the kids home, get home from work, get the kids home from school. Like, oh my God, the wash has to go in the dryer, like all that yeah. stuff. And, you know, my life too, on top of it. And um, 
So it always came like six o'clock and I was like, what am I gonna make? You know, there's, yeah. you know, like, okay, there's chicken, you know, but so I started menu planning and then I would shop and then I had all the things that I needed. And then, um, you know, I think my cooking got a little better. Mm -hmm. I'm not the greatest cook, but it's, I think it's a little better. And, and my kids now know like, okay, this is on the menu. Like they're having salmon. And yeah. One out of the three of them doesn't eat salmon, so he. I know he's gonna have leftovers from the night before. It's a lot yeah. easier, so mm -hmm. it's a lot more peaceful. Does it cut times. down like complaints with kids? Because totally. I notice my little boy, like anytime I'm like, "What should we make for dinner?" and I give him options. Yes. He always is like, "No," but when he goes to school, he knows that they have a menu and that that's what he's having that day, and that that's the option. And so I'm like, mm -hmm. maybe that's something I should try and just be like, "We're totally. eating this." My son was the pickiest eater on the planet. Like literally, he was so picky. And um, he's getting a lot better now, but it still is like if I say, because I give him an out, like there's always leftovers. You yeah. know, I know I'll, like if I know I'm making the salmon, which he doesn't like, I'm gonna make something that he likes the night before and mm -hmm. make sure there's enough. So then he has a choice. So, if you don't yeah, like it, go hungry. He has one choice. Just though. kidding, is that mean? He doesn't have like, <laughs> you <Yes>. know, <laughs> starve, go to your room. <laughs> yeah. So this might get personal, and if it's too much, you guys don't have to share, but We're I was. Good. I was, we're out, we're done. <laughs> I was thinking about fitness and health and like something that we could kind of talk about that we had, you know, that we haven't discussed on our first episode. And I was thinking about, um, you know, we talked on our first episode, we talked about loving yourself and loving your body. But in a relationship, you know, when you have things that you're drawn to, fitness, being healthy, looking a certain way, do you think that that, you expect that from your partner in your guys' relationships? Do you want that with a partner? Like, you know, yeah. you're, you're my six pack life. You know, do mm -hmm. you expect your girlfriend to have a six pack? And I mean, no, not that, I'm not, it's not a trick question. I'm being, <laughs> because everybody has Honey, things. Honey, you better get in the gym right now. <laughs> everybody has things they want and you know, some are more different than others, but. Well, I think for me with health and fitness, it's more about like having things to share. Mm -hmm. So, and recently we were doing kind of separate training, going to different gyms just because of where she works and, and schedules. Uh -huh. But finally made it things like, no, let's make some little sacrifices and go to the gym earlier together. And I don't want to make it sound like all we do is go to the gym. I'm just saying whatever activities that you enjoy, just find a way that, you know, make find mutual activities that you can share with each other. Mm -hmm. Whether it's going to the gym, whether it's be, going out and being physically active, joining a co-ed softball league, like anything that you can do together, I think just builds your relationship stronger. Yeah. So pick something healthy, do that together, then you're both getting healthier and then you're both getting closer. So you mentioned earlier that you got to a point where you hurt your back and you yeah. were at 254 pounds. 53, I don't want to credit oh, for that I'm extra Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's the pound. That would have been really <laughs> fast. <laughs> 253, yeah. Was were you in a relationship at that time? Yes. And was that hard for you to feel? Let's talk about confidence in your body and in a relationship. Girl? Is it the same girl you're with now? Yes, it's the same girl wow. now. And it's so like the way we look back on it is it's hilarious. Like so just looking, just like you. looking at a picture or a video of that, like like putting up with it, like incredible. Yeah, but that's and the big like we talked about the last episode. That's like your it's a big picture relationship. Yeah. This is a long term relationship for you. You know, like and that's beautiful. Like, yeah, if you can go through. That I mean, pregnancy like there is nothing more beautiful and more disgusting than pregnancy. Yeah. You know so, what I mean? Like, so true. So you know, you go through that with somebody, you see every side. Well, how do you have like you? I mean, feeling comfortable in your own skin—that's a huge topic. I think we all have these personal demons and inner insecurities that we fight. I don't care. You put somebody in front of me with like the best body, and I guarantee they still have insecurities somewhere about something or another, mm -hmm. you know, something that they just don't yeah. love. So how do you let your partner love those things? You know, do you guys have, have you had personal issues with that? Well, for me, like at 253 pounds, like I wasn't comfortable. And it's not, not just. Did that affect your relationship with her? Your physical, emotional relationship with her? Uh, I think it definitely put a strain on it, but, but I mean, she's so cool and she's such a chiller that like we got through it and obviously I got fit again. Like it was a great resurrection story. Mm -hmm. um, but just being that way, like you're not comfortable just just, just being that big. Mm -hmm. Like it's uncomfortable to have that much cellulite on your butt. <laughs> and a cellulite and butt again pick. Again with the cellulite. Um, <laughs> cellulite butt pick right here, a keyframe. Um, before we could really move on, like I needed to get to a place where I was comfortable with myself again. Yeah. And I, I, if you're out there and you're single now, like really i would say make sure that you are comfortable with yourself you know like whether you had whether something in your childhood 
or something scarred from a past relationship, or maybe you're just out of shape and you don't feel great about yourself, is first work out those things, feel mm -hmm. great about yourself, and then it's so much easier to enter into a relationship. Yeah. And I think if you are in a relationship and you are at that spot though where you're uncomfortable, communicate with that to your partner mm -hmm. and just be like, hey, I need you to be there. And I feel like maybe that could be the test of the relationship mm -hmm. if somebody's willing to stick with you through that thick and thin and be there for you and yeah. kind of support you in that and make you feel good. Like, you know, I know you don't love your body, but I'm here to support you with whatever or whatever the yeah. issue may be. It doesn't have yeah. to always be about the body. Yeah. After having babies, did you feel uncomfortable I in your skin? five pounds with my first baby, you know, like I, I'm a small person, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. like that's a lot of weight for me. I was, it was huge, but, um, I actually didn't feel uncomfortable cause I, I was like, I am so full of, yeah. you know, I'm every woman, you know what you. I mean? I was that's like super awesome. empowered by it. But then afterwards, I was like, wow. I'm really fat. <laughs> well, it's different when you have a belly, but it's tight. Right. And then when after the like, baby's out, it's not as tight. Right. So you're like, oh, shoot. But that's when I started doing yoga a lot. Uh -huh. so you with found... my baby, too. I did, you know, and that's what I'm teaching now. So it's it's like full circle. Yes. But that was really empowering. I know. I went, I went go in for doctor appointments. My doctor was like, you know, you're always, you're a little ahead of weight gain schedule. Like, lay off. I know. Totally. I just love cheese hot dogs right now. Yes. Because I gained like 60 pounds when I was pregnant with Cooper, and I never saw that coming no yeah. but my body was just like food you're eating it okay we're gonna take it oh I, I my first appointment which is what five six weeks or something mm -hmm. I stepped on the scale and I had gained 20 pounds and I was like wow I gained 20 pounds so it was my first appointment so they didn't have me weigh in before and she was like no you didn't that's impossible you're like, <laughs> like no, no really no. I really did <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it I is possible it. and here it is so see what you have to look forward to when you get pregnant <laughs> just gaining all that weight and oh wait just kidding are you well, getting pregnant? Not me personally. It's like a <laughs> seahorse thing, but um, I don't know. I think you just have to love her so much more. Because she had a like, baby. That's my baby in there. Totally. Yeah. Well, so, okay, so let's talk about next when you're going to propose. It sounds like things oh, are moving in the right direction. Wow. <laughs> just kidding. No pressure. Take your time. That's my new life motto. Motto. Take your time. Yeah. No, yeah. I think, I mean, it's like we talked about before. You know, you speed it up, then you're on the, the marriage train. Like the wedding. Yeah, you start focusing on everything else train. but the relationship. Mm. Well, I think the relationship's good, so I might have to put a we ring on it. We need to see her. Where, should we, if you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. She? Come on. <laughs> yeah, well, she's like working, hanging out, chilling right now. Doing the life, the good stuff. We'll have her on. You want to. I will have time. you guys back and you can be a couple and I'll have like, your husband like, no back. No way, no way, I'm not doing it. <laughs> you can it. propose on the Oh show. my gosh, best views That'd ever. Be awesome. <laughs> on your knee, right there. No pressure. Well, anyway. hey, we're going hey, to cut all of this. <laughs> we're not cutting, because guess what? You guys are going to leave comments below and give these guys Maybe love. And give him proposal ideas. Totally. No, I'm just kidding. Really, like, spiced up romantic proposal ideas. Yeah, because we're talking like about that. spicing it up. Anyways, thanks for stopping by the Love Nest. Again, give these guys some love. Check out their channels. And we will see you guys next time on the Love Nest. Bye, everybody. See ya. Thank you.